Hello and a warm welcome to the Niels Faro Design channel again, where today I'll talk you through color and materials for the interior of our Brad Van Homage. And let's dive into it immediately because here we see a photo that was made at the workshop of Schurt, the upholsterer. And you can see we're doing tests here with how we can make the seat belt element come through the Alcantara that we chosen. And this is a material relevant for race car 60s, in the 70s, and even in the 50s as well. This special era of race cars, in our case, a relevant material because it was used in the original car as well and cars surrounding that area. So what we see is a test on how we can protrude that element through the material that we've chosen through the Alcantara. And it just shows you the amount of effort that goes into a project like this, where we'll have a look at every single detail. And one of these details is, for instance, the stitching. Here I have an element of Alcantara and i having a look at the stitches and the type of stitch that we use. So this is an element seam, basically. So that and that are two different elements of Alcantara. So that, but then here we've got stitches. So a double stitch on this side and a single one there every type of stitch is being discussed but also the type of color and you might think it's just tons of tones so blue on blue the exact same color of the base material but it's actually not this stitch is a slightly but only slightly lighter color of blue because if and we tried this if we would have done the exact same color it would actually be absorbed by the blue. You can see there is a, a bit of a grain obviously inside of the Alcantara. And just like you see here, the darkness of the, of the shadow that is caused by each and every stitch, it would make the element that would stick out that is not down into the material so dark that you would almost not see it and you would just see a blackish, shadowish line. And that's obviously not something we want. It's not about shouting that we have stitches, but it's also not about not seeing them at all. So here you can just see the stitches and just is right about right, because it's really an exercise in subtlety coach building. Here we discuss the seats and you can see here it's just the original OEM seat where we have this amazing carbon fiber back something quite unique for the time and the period where this car this base car was built and we decided together with the owner of the car to actually keep that seat to not put in like a modern race seat or a different design altogether but to enhance the original design of the base car it's not just about recreating everything or throwing away all the base car materials and design work it's about making significant changes there where it counts so here we actually discuss the way the material the alcantara in the end so this is still the original black leather but how the alcantara would be placed around the holes here and how it would be finished with these end caps you can see Schuert has basically almost pulled off here this is glued to the original seat we were looking at how to do this which material to use a black leather combined with the blue alcantara uh, you can see here in the background we already have some test materials there we're looking at every single detail including this element here which runs around the entire seat all the way down and it basically covers the transition from the carbon fiber back and the padded leather over there. All these elements have to be decided about, have to be discussed, and that's just what we're doing here. This sketch you might remember if you've seen one of the previous videos on the design of the interior of our Brad Van Homage. This was the sketch that was chosen, and based on that blue, we looked for a relevant blue Alcantara, which is what we found together. And this here is what the seat is when it's entirely flat. So you can see everything has been cut out, everything has been made exactly according to the right size, but not into shape. It's very flat here, very two-dimensional, and obviously a car is three-dimensional. Here you can see it again. That here is the headrest, and 
this here is the seat back so the headrest over there and this cross is where Brad van homage outline will be on the headrest and um, this here is basically the seat back and then the seat here with the sides of the seats and these would be there on the side of the seat you can roughly see how the seat is being built up and how many different elements and materials components are used and finally here you see it coming alive so you can see that it's not just about material it's also about surfacing the skin of the car and the skin of the car is not something only on the exterior it's also on the interior so what we've done is we decided to use the design of the original car again to honor it uh, but we've used a lot more padding meaning that the three-dimensional elements of the seats are way more present and that just looks fantastic you have the double stitching here so it's double stitching again double stitching double stitching double stitching and you can just see how nicely three-dimensional these elements are and it really looks just lovely very racy very three-dimensional and that's really where car design is about so we've enhanced the original design by adding more padding making it more three-dimensional and here you see the final seat with the base material still there on the right and you see how much the three-dimensional sort of setup of that seat makes a difference in color compared to the material the exact same material there on the right you can just see it's so much more three-dimensional it, it really makes a difference in color too you can just see the richness of the material here and on the right hand side you can just feel because it's so flat it doesn't speak as much as the one on the actual seat on the right hand side some of the black leather that will be used in the car as well for instance on the transmission tunnel on the headliner and on the door panel this is nice to see as well we have all the test elements of the headrest embroidery here lined up together so you can see different colors almost invisible and more and more light and we've got different thicknesses as well and these two you can see are again almost invisible so what we try to do is not be too much in your face they're also a bit thicker there it truly is an exercise of subtlety car design for coach building this black leather combines very well with the Alcantara. It's an exercise that we have to do to completely continuously check what we're doing and how we're working. And if all materials and all colors are actually going well together, because in the end, in that car, it all has to complement each other. Here you see a selection of sketches and a selection of materials together. So the exterior sketches there, uh, some of the renderings of the car there. And obviously that's very important sketch or rendering of the interior with the seats and the Alcantara and the design of these different elements as you can see it here from sketch to reality it takes a couple of months and a whole lot of effort but you can see it really is coming together now together with the red exterior i think it really combines rather well it's this very classical racy look of the blue alcantara interior with the red bright exterior paint thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time